The Jersey Devil is a legendary creature said to inhabit the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, USA. Its origin dates back to the early 18th century, with the most popular legend attributing its birth to a woman named Mother Leeds. According to the story, she cursed her 13th child while in labor, transforming it into a grotesque, winged creature that subsequently terrorized the region. The Jersey Devil is described as a kangaroo-like creature with a horse's head, bat-like wings, cloven hooves, and a blood-curdling scream. Over the years, countless sightings and encounters have been reported, fueling its enduring folklore. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, the legend gained notoriety, with alleged sightings sparking panic and mass hysteria. Numerous explanations, from misidentified animals to hoaxes, have been put forth to rationalize these sightings. Still, the Jersey Devil remains a cryptid of great cultural significance, even inspiring various books, films, and cultural references. While many dismiss it as mere myth, the Jersey Devil continues to capture the imaginations of those intrigued by the unexplained. The Curse of the Pine Barrens, The Legend of the Jersey Devil Once upon a time, in the mysterious Pine Barrens of New Jersey, there existed a legend so fearsome and captivating that it has echoed through the ages. This is the tale of the Jersey Devil, a creature born of darkness and despair, and the brave souls who dared to confront it. In the heart of the Pine Barrens, nestled amidst towering pines and winding streams, there was a remote village called Leeds Point. It was a place where time seemed to stand still, where the whispers of the wind and the rustling leaves were the only sounds that broke the tranquil silence. Yet, beneath the idyllic facade, the villagers of Leeds Point lived in constant fear of the Jersey Devil, a malevolent force that haunted their every step. It was said to have been born of human origins, the cursed child of Mother Leeds, a woman known for her witchcraft and dark dealings with the devil. As the story goes, in the year 1735, Mother Leeds found herself pregnant for the thirteenth time, and in a fit of rage, she cried out, Let it be the devil. The night of the child's birth was unlike any other. A fierce storm raged outside, and the very heavens seemed to weep at the impending doom. As the baby emerged, it was a grotesque sight, with leathery wings, hooves, and a forked tail. It let out an otherworldly screech that sent shivers down the spines of all who heard it. The creature swiftly grew in size and power, terrorizing the village of Leeds Point and the surrounding towns. It became known as the Jersey Devil, a name whispered in fear and awe. It was said to have a malevolent intelligence, a thirst for blood, and a penchant for spreading misery wherever it went. As the years passed, the Jersey Devil became a living nightmare for the villagers. It would swoop down from the darkened skies, attacking livestock and stealing away children. Its chilling cry would send the bravest souls into hiding, and its presence cast a pall of dread over the land. Among the villagers of Leeds Point, there was a young woman named Sarah who possessed a spirit of unyielding courage. She was known for her fiery determination and her unwavering belief that the Jersey Devil could be defeated. One fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, she stood before a gathering of villagers and spoke with conviction. We can no longer live in fear of this beast, Sarah declared. We must unite and find a way to rid our land of the Jersey Devil once and for all. Her words ignited a spark of hope in the hearts of the villagers, and they formed a brave band determined to confront the creature that had plagued them for generations. As the group ventured deep into the Pine Barrens, the night seemed to grow darker and more foreboding. The eerie silence of the forest was broken only by the soft whisper of the wind and the distant hoot of an owl. The villagers walked in determined silence, clutching weapons and torches, their hearts filled with a mix of fear and resolve. Hours passed, and just as doubt began to creep into their minds, they heard it, the spine-chilling cry of the Jersey Devil. It echoed through the trees like a mournful wail, sending shivers down their spines. But Sarah, undeterred, pressed on. We must face our fears and confront this creature head-on, she said. Only then can we be free of its tyranny. Deeper and deeper they ventured, until they reached a clearing bathed in the pale glow of the moonlight. There, amid gnarled trees and twisted branches, they saw it, the Jersey Devil. It stood tall and imposing, its eyes glowing with an unnatural fire, its wings unfurled in a grotesque display of power. A hushed silence fell over the group as they stared at the beast that had haunted their nightmares for so long. The Jersey Devil hissed and bared its sharp, glistening teeth, a wicked grin stretching across its grotesque face. You dare to challenge me? 
It hissed, its voice a cacophony of nightmarish whispers. We do, Sarah replied, her voice unwavering. We have endured your reign of terror for far too long. It ends here and now. With a deafening roar, the battle began. Torches blazed, and swords clashed as the villagers fought with all their might against the Jersey Devil. But the creature was a formidable adversary, agile and relentless. It lashed out with its claws, tearing through flesh and bone, and it sent villagers flying with the powerful flap of its wings. The battle raged on, and it seemed as though all hope was lost. But then, a voice rose above the chaos. It was an elderly man, the village's oldest resident, who had been regarded as a wise sage. Listen to me, he cried. A legend says that the Jersey Devil can only be defeated by the pure of heart, by someone who believes in the power of good over evil. Sarah, wounded but still standing, locked eyes with the sage. She remembered the words of her mother, who had always told her that she possessed a heart of pure goodness. With a surge of determination, she raised her sword high and charged at the Jersey Devil. As she neared the creature, her heart filled with a radiant light, and her sword began to glow with an ethereal power. With a single, mighty swing, she struck the Jersey Devil's heart, and the beast let out a blood-curdling scream. A blinding flash of light enveloped the clearing, and when it faded, the Jersey Devil was no more. In its place stood a woman, her wings transformed into a shimmering robe, her hooves replaced by graceful feet. It was the thirteenth child of Mother Leeds, freed from the curse that had bound her for centuries. The villagers watched in astonishment as the transformed woman, now free of the darkness that had consumed her, looked upon them with gratitude and sorrow. She had been a victim of her own anger and despair, and it had taken the bravery and pure heart of Sarah to break the curse. With tears in her eyes, the woman spoke, I am finally at peace. Thank you for freeing me from the torment that consumed my soul. The villagers of Leeds Point, once plagued by fear, now felt a sense of closure and redemption. They had faced their darkest fears and emerged victorious, and the legend of the Jersey Devil had come to an end. As the years passed, the village of Leeds Point flourished, and the memory of the Jersey Devil faded into the annals of history. But the bravery of Sarah and the wisdom of the sage were never forgotten. They served as a reminder that even in the face of the most terrifying legends, the power of goodness and courage could triumph. And so, in the heart of the Pine Barrens, where darkness had once reigned, there now bloomed a light that shone as a beacon of hope for all who heard the tale of the legend of the Jersey Devil. We hope you enjoyed this spine-tingling folklore tale. If you found it as captivating as we did, don't forget to show your support by hitting that like button, ringing the bell for notifications, and subscribing to our channel.